this includes all six gens. So yes, if you have a V6, if you have a RS, if you have a V8, if you have a ZL1, or if you got a 1LE like me, this is for you. So Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys, man. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, we are going to be talking about some of the tips and tricks that I personally didn't know at first, and so I'm pretty sure you guys may or may not know about the 6th Gen Camaro. It does not have to be solely to the 1LE. This includes all six gens. So yes, if you have a V6, if you have a RS, if you have a V8, if you have a ZL1, or if you got a 1LE like me, this is for you. So stay tuned, let's get it. All right, you guys, so as y'all can see, we got Vader sitting right here, man. The first trick is gonna be with the key fob, all right? So as you guys can see, the windows are up. If you press and hold the lock button, both the windows roll down simultaneously just for those people that live in like florida or cali the hotter areas you dig what i'm saying let you cool your car off a little bit if it's in the driveway don't recommend doing this if it's not now secondly we're gonna go ahead and step inside the car now i did a video on this on my shorts um and it went crazy a whole bunch of people really didn't know about this so i was like you know what i might as well show you guys so let me go ahead and get the car in accessory mode here all right you guys so as you guys can see the background on my apple carplay is all black normally you have that multi-color joint and this is how you change it okay i did a video on my shorts and it went crazy so i knew a lot of y'all didn't know about this <laughs> Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the settings in Apple CarPlay. You're going to hit wallpaper, and then they have all of these presets that you can choose from. Normally, I believe it's this one that the cars come with, but that's just too bright for me, and it doesn't really go with the Camaro, the carbon fiber theme that I have in my car. So I went with the all black just to be very simple. You could do whatever color you like, but that's just one. That's just one tip, you know what I'm saying? You can change the wallpaper on your radio. I really wish that they would allow you to upload photos to this so that you can change them, but they don't, so here we are. All right, y'all, so for this next one, right? Whenever you close your door and you leave the key in the car, the alarm will always sound. I'm not gonna lie, it's very, very loud. So if you wanna turn that off, all you have to do is go to your settings you're gonna go vehicle and then you'll scroll down to remote lock unlock and start once you hit that you can see right here remote unlock light feedback the lights will flash remote lock feedback lights and horn and then remote unlock only the driver door will unlock when you hit the button once or you can make it do all of the doors and then you can also turn the little chime off whenever you leave the keys inside the car see remote left in vehicle you can turn that off or you can leave it on it's up to you man there's a lot of features that you can you know kind of play with to make the car your own you can also go to personal change your name add your email address your profile picture and it'll set whatever key that you have say you got two people driving the car you can set one key for your profile and the other key for another profile so whenever the key is in the car just like with memory seats it'll automatically go to whoever's profile is programmed to whatever key so yeah man there's a couple little you know things in here and there that you can change to kind of make the car your own but you know just helping you guys out now jump into the rear section of the car for my fifth gen own for my people who own fifth gens and now are getting into a sixth gen this is definitely for you the fifth gen camaro's my biggest issue with that car was i didn't have a button on the outside of the car to pop the trunk you had to use your remote or the button that's on the door cart but the sixth gen 
Chevy was like, we got you. And they gave you a button to pop the trunk. It's at the very bottom. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but it's right above the license plate, in between the license plate lights. And that's how you pop your trunk, man. Very, very simple. I know these are kind of like some tips that you might have already known. And if you didn't, you know your boy got you. But yeah, man, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, please do your boy a favor. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Also, turn on those post notifications if you're already subscribed. Some of you guys are subscribed and don't have post notifications on. And then some of you guys are not subscribed and still don't have post notifications on. So let's just go ahead and fix that right now, man. Hit that subscribe button for the kid. These are just some of the trips... These are just some of the tips that I've picked up along the way. As you guys know, I've owned this car for about a year now. And, you know, at the end of the day, these cars are literally one and the same. And as car enthusiasts, we strive to make our cars literally our cars. You feel what I'm saying? Kind of, you know, make them a little individualized, personalize them a little bit. And that's just dope that Chevy allows you to kind of go in the radio and play with some functions and change things out a little bit so that it won't be the same as the next man. So honestly, you guys, you know what I'm saying? I have my car set up to where if I leave the keys in the car and I close the door, the horn will set, the horn will set off like you guys seen. And then I also have my Apple CarPlay uh, background changed and stuff like that, man. So it's just little things here and there that you can do to kind of make the car your own other than modifying it, obviously. But I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And if you have some tips that I didn't mention in this video, drop them in the comment section down below because I'm very curious to see what you guys think. At the end of the day, that's what this whole thing is about is i'm trying to build a community in the ji squad in the comments it's a safe haven ain't none of that you know bickering and stuff like that if you're here to do all that man just keep it to yourself if you're here to help that's exactly what we want man so with all that being said it's gonna wrap it up for this video if you're new to the channel like i said earlier hit that subscribe button for the kid and turn on those post notifications mm -hmm. drop a comment in the comment section down below let me know some tips or less you don't have any new ones then you know what i'm saying let me know if this video at least helped you out if you're new to the six gen world and i will see you guys in the next one let's go ahead and roll that outro peace